cleaning the back of your refrigerator is a good way to keep your motor from going bad prematurely. I'll show you how. A lot of refrigerators these days are on wheels, so you'll just pull it forward. Just pull until you've got access to the back. And you can already see there's lots of dirt back here and we're hoping that isn't hasn't collected around the motor all right now we are going to unplug this it's not going to be unplugged for very long but it sure will make it easier to clean up back here. a lot collects under there because there is a lot of air movement underneath your refrigerator and all around it you can see how much dust has collected even on these very large vents all right, we are going to remove this back panel. Ours is just made of cardboard. Yours might be uh, made of something else or it might be completely uh, not there. But the more dirt that is around the compressor, the harder it's going to have to work. So we're going to uh, vacuum out as much as we can. A socket would have made this a lot quicker to remove these screws, but a wrench will work, especially since I found it behind the refrigerator. <laughs> Very gently remove the cardboard. All right, this is the compressor, and these are the cooling fins. And you can see there is a good bit of dirt that's collected over on the side. I'm gonna sweep everywhere I can. Okay, that looks better. We're gonna use a rag too. You could use uh, you could blow compressed air in there. You could just blow with your mouth. I'm going to use a rag the best I can in here first. Or you can use a hair dryer to get back in there where you can't reach. Okay, these look a lot cleaner. So might as well scrub down the floor while we're back here too. Now we'll put this back in place. <clears throat> the reason this is very important to us is because we lost a refrigerator last year due to the fact probably that it was so dirty in the back. I, this panel was missing and the back was completely filled, much worse than what you just saw, much worse. And uh, so we don't want that to happen. And of course, remember to plug your refrigerator back in before you push it back into place. And just roll her back into place. And you can see how much dirt was also underneath the refrigerator that got blown out while we were working in the back. So a little bit of preventative maintenance on these goes a long way.